Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, unfortunately I have some bad news, uh, and that's because my sweet old girl Olive has passed away. So Olive was three years and two months of age, which is very old for a rat, uh, and I'm very grateful that she made it to such an age, especially because I got her when she was just five and a half weeks old, uh, so I actually had her for over three years, which again, I'm very, very grateful for. Um, and Olive was just honestly such an incredible rat. Um, she was just so sweet and confident. Uh, she was very social and outgoing, even from day one. In fact, the very first day I got her, she was already taking treats and eating them in my hand. Uh, I remember teaching her how to spin on that very first night. She was just so tiny and so eager, and she did not have a single shy bone in her body. She was just way too sweet and social, and that continued her entire life. She was just always such an amazing rat, so outgoing, and I took her to like fundraisers on a harness, and she would meet strangers and just be super chill and sweet and just easily one of the best tempered rats I've had and just really a great representative of how amazing rats are. Um, so again, I'm very, very glad that I got to have her because she was just perfect. And during her three years with me, I did so many things with Olive. Uh, I did a lot of trick training with her. She absolutely loved trick training and it's something I do with all my rats, but Olive in particular was so quick to pick things up I still remember her at 12 weeks old outperforming some of my other rats who were much older than her and much more experienced because Olive was so good at focusing and she was also so food motivated. She was just so eager and motivated to just work with you and just figure out how to communicate. It was really amazing. Uh, and even when she got to old age and her body just wasn't able to keep up with being active, um, she did develop hind leg degeneration at the end, so she wasn't super able to be agile like she used to be. But even at that point, she was so curious, so active, she still wanted to do some of her tricks. I mean, I have some videos of her, even a few days before she passed, doing some of her favorite tricks like spin and paw and fetch. Uh, because she just absolutely loved doing them and she really loved that sort of communication and just interaction and it just really warmed my heart and made me so happy whenever I got to do these things with her. As far as health issues went, Olive was probably the luckiest rat I've ever had. She never had tumors, she never had heart issues, she never had respiratory issues. She was just honestly super healthy. It was insane. As someone who's had a lot of standard intact female rats who are extremely prone to tumors after one and a half to two years of age, unfortunately, I can say that seeing one get to three years without any tumors like Olive did uh, was honestly just insane. I never expected her to be so healthy, especially because her sisters unfortunately developed tumors. So. I don't know how Olive got that lucky, but I'm so glad that she did uh, because it meant that she got to age gracefully. Now, she did still have a few health issues at the end. Um, she had some kidney decline uh, and some hind leg degeneration, which went along with that. She also had some cataracts in one eye and some mild malocclusion that started, I'm gonna say maybe two or three months before she ended up passing away, but that was easy to treat uh, and her incisors were growing very slowly. So she only needed them bird every four weeks. Uh, which is very infrequent for that sort of thing. So honestly, again, it was not a big issue. Uh, and definitely considering all the old age issues I've seen in other rats, Olive's were very mild by comparison and she was extremely healthy to the end. And same with activity, she was very alert and active and she just continued to get around really well. Even with her hind leg degeneration, she did not let that stop her. She would explore, she would get around the cage, she was just a really amazing rat, and she just had that energy and drive, even in old age, uh, which is something I always love about rats, but particularly with Olive because of her age, it really amazed me seeing her continue to get around and continue to be so active despite just, you know, being such an old rat. Um, because, well, at her age, she was pretty much the equivalent of a 90 plus year old human. So you can imagine a 90 year old just uh, trying to run around. Uh, it's uh, not exactly something you expect, but honestly, it's pretty darn amazing when you see it. Um, and I was very happy to see Olive continue to be so active and energetic. Uh, as far as how Olive passed, honestly, I can't tell you exactly what happened. Uh, it was probably some sort of organ failure because that's usually what it is with older rats. 
Um, she ended up passing in her sleep. Uh, I came to give her some treats and well, I was giving all the rats treats and all of it didn't come out. So I decided to leave her until later um, just in case she was like sleepy. And then when I came later to give everyone treats, she still wasn't out. So I went searching for her and I found her curled up uh, under one of the boxes uh, in this little nest she made or one of the other rats made. So I'm pretty sure that she passed in her sleep. Probably the best way to go, honestly. I feel like she just passed when she was asleep, possibly even with one of the other rats cuddled with her because they were always cuddling up with her. Uh, and it was definitely the best way that she could have gone. Uh, and probably the most peaceful natural death because, well, natural deaths aren't always peaceful, but at least in Olive's case, it seems like it was. And I'm very glad for that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what happened with Olive. Uh, honestly, it's kind of strange seeing Olive not be here. Um, I don't feel awful about it, I want to say. Uh, it sounds strange, but uh, she was just such an old rat and she was so healthy and active and it just made it a little bit easier because even though it's really hard to lose rats and hard to know how short their lifespan is, it's always easier for me when the rat is old and they've been healthy up until that point and the passing is sudden and it's easier for me to accept that they had a good life uh, and that they were able to pass peacefully, uh, which is definitely what I want for all my rats. And especially coming off, uh, as some of you might know, my mom's passing. Um, my mom passed in November of 2023, uh, just a month before Olive's third birthday. And she was so excited to celebrate that with Olive um, because she always loved my rats and she really wanted to see one of them make it to three plus. And she was so excited to see one of them coming towards that milestone. Uh, especially Olive because Olive was always one of my mom's favorite rats because she was just so sweet and social. Um, and my mom's passing was completely unexpected. Uh, she was only 57 and she had a massive heart attack uh, and that was that. It's been really difficult these last few months just adjusting to my mom being gone uh, because I was quite close to her. But the first few weeks in particular were just super, super awful. And I have to say during that time, my rats were really incredible, especially Olive. And I was kind of worried in the beginning that Olive would pass away really soon to when my mom did. Uh, and I just knew I was gonna be completely devastated if that happened, even though Olive was again, very old. I was just kind of in a much more emotionally vulnerable state. Uh, and I know that having a rat pass at that time would have really hit me hard just much harder than usual. So I'm very, very grateful that Olive didn't pass away at that point and actually, you know, made it several more months uh, because even though it's still difficult right now because it's only been a few months since my mom passed, uh, it's still a lot better than it was during those first few weeks. And I'm just really glad that Olive was with me for those last few months um, because she was just a really great support. You know, rats are really good at emotional support and even though, of course, I have friends and family who are all very supportive. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's nice to have the rats as well. So yeah, um, this is just kind of my farewell video to Olive. I know it's a little bit rambly, but honestly, Olive was such an incredible rat that I didn't want to let her go out without kind of talking about um, some of the things about her that I just absolutely love. And if there's one thing that having rats has taught me uh, with their short lifespans, it's to very much appreciate what I have now because, you know, it's never guaranteed that it's going to last. Um, and, you know, instead of being anxious about that changing, it's better to just appreciate it while it's here. Anyways, that's it for this video. Uh, I am planning on introducing my remaining rats together. Now that all this passed away, I do plan on having everyone live together. So. And that is going to be what we're working on over the next few weeks. Um, and uh, yeah, I will probably do a video on that. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed hearing a little bit about Olive's life. Uh, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!